Good morning, you guys. Welcome to a vlog. I kind of just decided today that I was going to vlog. I have a lot of stuff to do today, and I was like, this might be a good time to show you kind of what it looks like day in my life with studying for boards and just trying to get everything else done, you know, being balanced. So it's already almost nine o'clock, and I've been up since 7 30. Um, I got Josh's lunch together for him to take to work. And I'm sitting here drinking my coffee and watching YouTube. That's usually like my morning routine. I do my little devotional. And in a minute, I'm going to go upstairs, get ready really quick, and then sit down and study for the next probably four and a half hours. So wish me luck. So I'm in a like boards prep course. And so I was watching a video um, from that and then decided to go through some notes and just yeah I usually decide like what topics I want to look at per day and then just dedicate a certain amount of time for those topics. I just finished watching that video and now I'm going to put my coffee cup away, pour myself some iced coffee, and start studying. I want to study for two hours for these specific topics I need to get through and then we'll see where we'll go from there. But I know that from 10.30 to 12.30, I need to study and review Cardio Palm. So that's what I'm gonna do. This coffee I like, this is La Cologne, um, unsweetened, medium dark roast. Sweet cream, coconut milk creamer from Natural Bliss is super good. I don't always use creamer, but I actually like it in iced coffee. I have an easier time doing like black coffee that's hot. Okay, so I'm in the middle of studying. Everything is literally a mess. I'll show you all my desk setup because I'm gonna show you the um, this room that I study in, but I just got a package from my dress. So I might unbox that for y'all, but first I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing now. So this little set is from Shop Bloom Label. It's thebloomlabel.com um, is the name of the, buti the boutique, but it is a like newer um, boutique that I think is somewhat local to Georgia. Um, but I've been working with the owner on some like sharing some of her things. This isn't, she doesn't even know I'm putting this in a vlog, but I just put this set on today to wear it for like lounging and just for like studying. And I thought it was perfect. It's so cute. I love the color. I love neutrals. The light's not great right here, but you can see the point. But anyways, this is my current setup. Um, kind of a mess. I have all my cups and my video up that I'm about to watch and notes and my agenda. My lovely blanket that I usually like fold up so that this is on the outside and I put it in that basket so that it looks like neutral and blends in. And then these prints I got from a thrift store. I love them. I love the vintagey look of them. Have this really cheap curtain um, and a great view of building houses, which I actually really enjoy watching them build. It's super cool. Um, we're in a new neighborhood. So and then this is my little day bed that I um, well, sometimes just like lay clothes out on that I need to shoot or whatever. Um, and sometimes I'll sit up there instead of at the desk. And then right there, I'm trying to flatten my diploma or my degree. So it's just sitting there with the flowers kind of holding it down. That art print is from Amazon. Um, typically I have this vase over on the other table that I'm going to show you, but I just didn't pick up for this video because this is a vlog and that's what you do. Um, but anyways, it's flattening my Here's my degree. But anyways, this table was my mother-in-law's. Actually, I think it was my grandma-in-law's, but it was in her attic and she was like, do you want it? And it used to be like a really dark brown color. Um, and I just like stripped it and sanded it. So I have that tutorial up on my channel. But anyway, so that's just the little end table for now. I want to do like a table of drawers, but um, then over here, I just have my steamer out, of course. Everything's a mess, like I said. So, um, this sign I got, I forgot where, it was like just a random shop near us. Um, and then my jewelry stand and then just some random decor that I kind of filled in these little cubes with. Um, and then this hanging thing I think is from, 
my mom got it for me at Ross, I believe. And then I just hang my straw bags up there and then there's my desk. So yeah, everything's messy right now, but just a little mini, um, just a little mini room tour. Eventually I'll do like a full tour, but let's, let's unbox this package. I'm excited. Um, these items were gifted to me. Disclaimer, I work with Redress often on Instagram. And so they send me some pieces. So this tank is just, oh my gosh, I love a white linen tank for the summertime. This really cute white romper with this adorable top. It's very structured. I don't even know. You'll have to like look on my Instagram and see where I end up wearing these and how I style them. But anyways, they're wrinkly now. So I'll hang them up and steam them later when I'm not studying, which is what I'm supposed to be doing. But, and then these glasses, I've been wanting a pair like this shape. I just think they're really fun and different. And then this cute little two piece skirt and top set. Um, and these gray like culotte kind of pants. I've been wanting a pair of these. I would have loved them at the beach, but I also just think that they're great for like running out and about when you want to look acceptable, but um, still be really comfortable. I just, I think it's a kind of a cool look for summer. So anyways, I'll eventually hang these and steam them. Um, but now I need to get back to studying because I'm off track. <laughs> Eyes, they're hurting. I just had to do, we have some paperwork we have to fill out to return to campus. Um, for those of y'all who don't know, I'm a teaching assistant for the physical therapy program, the first and second years. And the second years are gonna go back to campus, very like staggered. Um, I don't think a lot of them are gonna be there at once, but um, we have to fill out all these forms in order to go back to help teach. So I was doing that and it was like a lot of busy work and my eyes hurt so bad after like being on the computer watching videos to study and stuff. So anyways, it is about two o'clock. I'm gonna strip the bed actually, cause I um, changed the bed on Tuesdays. And then I'm going to head out and get my nails done. They are pretty, bad so i'm gonna go get those done and make a return at target and i think there's a couple things i need in target too so that's gonna be kind of my afternoon then i need to make sure i'm back and ready to go at five for a online review on zoom for the first year pt students um got to be in there for their test review and yeah i was gonna go to spin tonight and my back is like not feeling so good and i was like feeling it and i think i might have strained one of my um back muscles, I won't get nerdy and talk about which one, but I can feel compared to the other side that it's um, really taut. So I think I pulled something a little bit. So I don't know if I should go to spin. I have to make that decision. But anyways, long story short, let's get this uh, bed made. So I've been learning lately with friends and watching YouTube videos and stuff that like all of our husbands hate uh, accent pillows and we all love to have a bunch on the bed. So I don't think I have that many, but Josh still hates them. And I think it's kind of funny that that seems to be a theme. Okay, so I have my return and I'm gonna go get my nails done. I changed it to this little, just like jeans and really casual tee because I was really comfortable in that lounge set, but I think the shorts might've been a little too short to wear out of the house. So, and they're kind of flowy. So like you catch a bad, you know, gust of wind. I don't know. So anyways, I am going to go to get my nails done first and then to Target and then head back here. So I think I'm gonna call my mom on the drive because she texted me and told me to call her. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, just pulled up to the nail salon. I'm wearing these new sunnies from Red Dress. I think they're really cute. They're a little bit big on me, like on the sides. I feel like they might slide off a little bit, but Otherwise, I think they're really cute. So I'm gonna go get these um, taken off. They've been grown out really bad. And I think I wanna do like a green, like a lime green, I don't know. Something summery and fun before everything becomes fall. Oh my gosh, it just started pouring. Wish me luck. You guys, look at how fun these nails are. I am so pumped. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted like neon, but like not like an ugly neon green, like when kids used to like paint their nails with highlighters. Do you remember that in like middle school? Anyways, so I'm obsessed um, and I'm going to go drive through Starbucks. I usually want to get my nails done. I get a Starbucks and bring it in, but obviously couldn't drink my Starbucks because of the mask. So I'm gonna go get a Starbucks now and drink it on the way to Target where I'm going to do my return. It's 3.40 already and I need to be on the call in like an hour and 20 minutes. So hopefully I can get everything done between now and then, but I just have to do a return at Target. I was gonna kind of power around, but I might not if, um, if I don't have time, but. I'm in the drive-thru now, and I honestly just don't feel like it's a vlog without a Starbucks run. I feel like it, I don't know. But anyways, I can't believe it's already 3.40. I literally studied from like nine this morning till 
was like what 2 30 when I left or at least did like school related things but I just got a nice coffee with coconut milk and no sweetener and actually it's weird it usually costs 294 and then they just said 316 which usually means they charge for the coconut milk and they don't typically charge for coconut milk and I just a plain iced coffee because they don't use enough of it um like in a latte they'll charge you for it but anyways but I probably won't say anything because I don't want to be that girl but it adds up over time you know so I went to Target and I didn't like talk when I was filming in there because I know that sometimes Target is weird about people filming. Um, but as you can see, they had a lot of their outdoor stuff um, kind of picked through and I think some of it was on sale. Not what I was looking for, unfortunately, which was outdoor pillows and like an outdoor end table. Um, sorry for the shakiness. But then also I noticed in the Magnolia line, they had this new line of candles that were new scents and then they came in like three different sizes and they also had hand soap. They all smelled really good. Um, there were some new throw pillows and um, new greenery for Magnolia, but there wasn't a ton else. So I don't think they had the full new line out. I don't know if it's like a midsummer line or if they're getting ready to put fall out because I know she usually does new items like per season. So yeah, here's a little shop with me. These throws I thought were a really good deal. They were like 10 bucks. Got home. This is my little mini Target haul. So I actually went because I was out of peanut butter. This is my favorite natural peanut butter. Um, I like to eat this like in my yogurt in the morning or my oats. So I had to pick some of that up. Usually like I'll get this with groceries, but we didn't get groceries this week because we had a lot of leftovers. So just picked that up. This was an impulse buy. I think y'all saw that I walked through the Magnolia line. Um, they had a ton of new stuff. They had a whole like new line of candles, but this is one that I've been wanting to pick up and I just honestly grabbed it. It was $11.99. Smells really good and it's going to match like all of our decor out here. Um, the Sour Patch Strawberries. I got these last week and I didn't even wait till I got home to bust into them. That's just what I do at Target. I get candy. I got clear thumbtacks. That was another thing I actually went in there for because there are some things that um, when I've noticed like I've been hanging stuff for the house that I've used nails that I probably don't need to use nails and like put a big hole in the wall for because some things are light enough that the tack would hold. So I wanted to pick up some of those. And then I got decaf coffee because I've been drinking a lot of coffee like at night and I probably shouldn't be drinking caffeine at night even though I'm pretty sure it doesn't work on me anyway. But I just like the taste and it's also good to have this in case like you have people over, you can offer that to them. And then I got Swiffer dusters. This is actually what I went in there for as well. We needed some more of these. And then my most fun purchase was this new planner. Um, I thought the design on this was beautiful. And this is a day designer for Target. So it's cheaper than the day designer brand. That's because like the quality's not as nice. Honestly, like the paper's a little bit thinner. But I used to use one of these back in grad school in the beginning when um all my days looked different because you have like your monthly to do's your whole month spread and then um the schedule with the whole like time and then to do's notes whatever this is one page per day so what i've been using lately is a happy planner which i love they're also very affordable and you have like i do the vertical and i was kind of breaking this up into like morning afternoon night kind of thing um but what happened was i started time blocking where like today I from 9 to 1 30 I studied so I could have written that like here like study um but I started using this one when I was on clinic and all my days were the same so it was like there wasn't any there wasn't that much to write because it was like work not eight to five nine to five whatever um so that's when I started using this one so I've had this for like well over a year and I've been using it but it only goes through the end of the year this one is July to June of next year and Josh is in a wedding at the beginning of next year. I am in a wedding next spring. And so there's just things and dates that I need to be able to put um, for next year. So I was like, I'm going to need to get something new anyways. And I think I want to go back to this one page per day thing because what I'm having to do now is like put down my to-dos in here and then on my phone do my time blocking. Whereas now I could just do like my to-dos and then my time blocking. I won't be able to see the whole week at once, but I don't think I will need to. Um, and if I do, I can always do like a sticky note with like week to do's and just move it along. So anyways, that's kind of a long rant about planners, but, um, I just saw it and it's only 20 bucks for the big one. The smaller ones are, um, I think like 16 or something, but I like the big one. And yeah, I used to use one like this, like I said, so it just depends on like what stage of life I'm in right now. My days all look different and 
even when I start working in August, all my days are going to look different because I'm not going to work like a regular Monday to Friday kind of shift. I'm going to have kind of some variety. And so on the days I'm not working, I'll be like time blocking and stuff. So yeah, I feel like that's, this will be good for right now. And I like that it gives you the chance to prioritize your, your top three and have like an evening, like there's like a section that says tonight. So anyways, that's a lot about planners, but if you have questions about them, let me know because I've tried many. I used to have like six planners at a time because that's crazy. But anyways, it is almost five o'clock. So I need to get on Zoom and get ready to um, teach some kids about, not kids, they're adults, but teach some people about kinesiology. And then I, I don't know if I'm going to go to spin. I haven't made up my mind yet. I don't think I'm going to, if I'm being honest. Um, Because I'm on my like fourth cup of coffee and I haven't had any water today. So probably wouldn't turn out well for me if I did go. Anyways, I'm a mess. Okay, tuning on to Zoom now. Okay, so I decided to go to spin. So I need to set the alarm and then run out the door. I just decided if I don't go, I'm gonna be mad at myself because I know I can't go tomorrow. Um, so, and Josh is home tomorrow, so I wanna be able to spend time with him. So I'm gonna go tonight and if my back hurts, then I will just take it easy. Um, try to make sure I'm activating my core on the bike. That's the main thing I was worried about is that sometimes I don't activate my core and then my back takes a lot of stress from the position on the bike. So I'm just going to try my best. And if it starts to hurt too bad, I'll just bow out or I'll sit down on the bike and like, like just take it easy for a second. Um, but I don't want to knock it this Tuesday night spin in because um, I try to get to spin like four times a week. And if I don't do it tonight and then I know I can't go tomorrow, then... It's just gonna put me behind so wish me luck hopefully uh i don't injure myself more but i think i'll be okay there's regan's say hi buddy um i got home from spin i forgot to uh touch base because on the way home from spin i was on the phone with my best friend leanne for those of y'all who don't know my best friend lives in nashville we haven't lived in the same city since high school but we're still best friends however many years later that is seven i guess um, and we talk on the phone like literally all the time. She lives alone. So when she's like done with work and like having dinner and stuff, sometimes I'm driving to the gym and we'll just like chat. So that's what I was doing. And then I got um, home and took a shower. Now the only things left on my to-do list are made assignments for the one class that I'm a TA for. But I need to also check in with the teacher and see if he has a key for me to use to grade it. Um, I hope he does. <laughs> And then I also need to steam the clothes that I got from my dress that I showed y'all. So yeah, that's what the rest of the night is going to look like. It's already, I mean, I'm guessing it's close to 8.30ish. So I probably need to eat something as well um, since I just did spin. But yeah, so I'm going to lay low and just uh, do the rest of my to-do list. And then probably look down at, look at tomorrow's to-do list and set like a time blocking schedule. That's usually what I do the night before. So I was just transferring my stuff over um, that, and then I'm watching Brittany Born Leach on YouTube. That's kind of a funny photo, but um, I guess I'll just flip this over. So I have been kind of putting in new stuff. So like tomorrow, um, I have my like stuff that I need to do, and I kind of like planned out my day. That's what I like to do is have my to-dos and then make a list, and I think this is going to actually work out really well. Um, we will see and then I'll have the next day. I like this planner has this little tab um, So you know what day you're on and yeah I forgot how much I liked this planner when I had it before but it is super nice and I still have not eaten anything yet I am I haven't gotten up because I was doing the planner stuff, but I'm going to Go eat something and then I need to steam these clothes and Yeah, then I should be good I always get sucked into my planner, like trying to figure out when I'm going to do everything and then I never do anything. It's yeah, but I actually might just end it here because I don't think anything is going to be that exciting. Um, and it is like, let's see, 920 PM. So this has pretty much been my whole day. Um, so yeah, and if y'all enjoy like vlogs, let me know. Um, this wasn't very exciting. My whole day was pretty much studying. I feel like, or at least like four hours of it. So let me know if you like vlogs. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Um, I have a couple of different hauls coming up, like home stuff hauls. So I'm excited about that. And yeah, anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video.